Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JT Play Stuff. I'm T. Jason here right now. When we last left off, we challenged the gym and we fought some gang members. And I think it's basically about it. This episode, we're going to keep going in this direction. And hopefully, find like. The guy's daughter, or like whoever they were supposed to be, he never actually said. Whatever the case, we will find her. Uh oh. We'll show you our favorite Pokemon. I'd rather you not, but okay. Twins Joy and Meg would like to battle. Twins Joy and Meg, and another Clefairy and another Clefairy. They like a fairy, in case you haven't told. Scott and Skyfish come out. Scott is going to use Flash on this one, and d d d Skyfish is going to use Wing Attack on the other one. Scott uses Flash. Fairy's accuracy fell. Skyfish uses Wing Attack. The other fairy is hurt. One of them uses Cosmic Power. Fair uses its defense. It's very special defense also rises. The other fairy uses Cosmic Power. And then they both increase their defense. Alright. And then. I think we'll just go pure attacks this time. Scott uses Thunder Shock. And Skyfish is using Wing Attack. And it didn't do too much damage, which is wonderful. The Fairy's Defense Rose. Okay. Cosmic Power. Ugh. I think they only really know one move. And yeah. Okay, Scott, I'm thinking strength is the best choice for you. And wing attack is so probably the best for you. Skyfish uses wing attack. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. No, uh uh. Fairy used Dizzy Punch. Foe uses Moonlight. Okay. And nothing happens. Very oh, that's what happened. Okay, they got health. That's wonderful. Actually, Scott, I want you to actually punch the Clefairy that hasn't healed yet. And you will do the same, but also with the same. Okay. All right. Screen. Fairy's cute charm infatuated Scott. Of course it did. Skyfish used swing attack. And the cute charm infected both of them. That's wonderful. Okay. Now they both use Moonlight. That's wonderful. <sighs> Alright. Got avoided such attack, but Skyfish failed to avoid such attack and was destroyed in the process of doing such a thing. And the other Clefairy avoided the attack as well. Wonderful. One of the Clefairies fainted though, which is good. Scott gained XP. And I think it's time for Doggo to come out. Well, actually, well, Blimey, Blimey should come out. Lemon deserves it. Um, strength, if you could. And two water pulse. Scott is in love. He uses strength anyway to show his masculinity. Lemon uses water pulse to go and clean off that toxicity of male masculinity. 
Clefairy uses defensive curl. Clefairy's defense rose. I could needed that. And they're gonna use another. Actually, I'm thinking that Scott should start, you know, flashing and, you know, you can do the attacking, Blimey. Okay, Scott is in love. And he uses flash. Gofairy cannot use less accuracy now. Blimey uses water pulse. Fairy became confused. Fairy is confused. Fairy uses metronome. The fairy uses smog. Because the fairy can use two different things at once now. It's wonderful. Flash and water pulse. Scott is in love still. He hasn't been on in love. So Scott uses Flash, but Scott's attack missed somehow. Blimey uses Water Pulse, and it hits the Clefairy. Clefairy snapped out of its confusion, because it's fun that way. Clefairy uses Defensive Curl. And a Flash again, and a Water Pulse again. Again and a defensive curl from the Clefairy. and a flash and a water pulse. We will keep doing this until Clefairy is gone. And we're already seven minutes into the episode. Amazing! Which everybody on watching this wants to watch a battle that never ends. This is the battle that ends. Don't worry, guys. I think I'll just speed this up for you. Okay. The fairy dragged out blue, so. I mean, no problem here, but I mean. Yeah. Good, the fairy's gone. That's cool. Alright. Scott gained experience. Blue gained experience. Well, we got experience. Everybody gets experience. Oh joy! JT got money, and we get to keep running. Okay, and now we get to keep walking. And right to that trainers. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Well, I have a little girl to save. I mean, at least I'm assuming it's a little girl. Our own lady Violet sent out Bulbasaur. Scott goes. Scott uses Thundershock. This should be an easy battle, but of course it won't because, you know, Bulbasaur is 12 levels above Scott. It's not, how is it not very effective? That doesn't even make sense. He's a grass type. That should hurt. Fine, you know what? Whatever. Quick attack. Bolster uses Razor Leaf. Cut, cut, cut. Scott is almost dead. And Flash to end it. Bolster's accuracy fell. Bolster used another Razor Leaf to end Scott. Once and for all. Scott fainted. Homie comes out. And Homie is going to use Aerial Ace because it's a flying type move. And we'll hopefully. Oh, yeah, it did, it did a lot to what was wrong. Bulbasaur sings a song about, you know, flowers. Homie's evasiveness fell. Homie uses Aerial Ace one more time. And bingo, Homie gets 
to level 25, hopefully. Yep, he did great. Homie agree level 25. Homie is trying to learn rage. But homie can't learn rage. <sighs> Knowing four moves. Make room for rage? Yes. And just sure. And Swarny attack comes stronger every time the user is hit in battle. Okay. You know what? He doesn't need rage. It's not that good anyway. Stop learning rage? Yes. Mommy did not learn rage. Pity. Um, uh, Violet's about to use an Ivasaur. We changed? No. Homie, go. Homie, use Aerial Ace. It's super effective. Yay. And, homie, keep using Aerial Ace until the end of time. Yay, Ivasaur is almost dead. One more time. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. You fell asleep. Why did you fall asleep? Well, don't worry. We can fix this. We just need to go to the key items and then find our way to... Not that. I didn't say that. Find our way to the Poke Flute. Use it. JT plays the Pokey Flute. Do, 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 do. The Pokemon hearing the Pokey Flute awoke. So Ivasaur used a Razor Leaf against a bee. And it didn't do too much because it's a bee. No, I didn't mean to do that. Here. Fight with the Aerial Ace. And Ivasaur is defeated. <sighs> okay, and homie. Let's use another Ivasaur. It's gonna be amazing. And I'm just gonna do something again. It's gonna be Ivasaur. And go. Air release. And yeah. Boom. And one more time should hopefully do it. So, for the win, Homie did it. Homie beat the Ivasaur for a final time. Homie got experience. Homie got to level 26, too. Yay. Player defeated Romilly Violet. You are raising some wonderful Pokemon. Yes, I am. JT got it running for winning. Okay, and then JT's going to start running this direction. JT's going to run this direction then. Up here, up here. Don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. This is a forest. Berry Forest. It's berry, berry good. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Alright. This way. I guess let's cut down this tree. This tree looks like it should be cut down. Should you cut it down? Homie uses cut. With this stinger thing in the jiggies. He has three stingers. Yeah. And then, uh oh. Here, what's that? Oh, it's a thing that we have. That's cool, I guess. Go, Blue, go. You see it? It's amazing. Run away from it. See, I was hoping for something cooler, like a psychic type, but nope. What did we get? All we got was a Pidgey. Auto. Pidgey Auto. Yeah. Looks like if you cut down, while you're down, and use this cut. Alright. And we have a show for it. We found the max ether. That's what we found. Uh huh. Now one bush. What about gloom? I don't think we. Yeah, we don't have gloom. We should, uh. 
don't know. I don't want it though. Eh, I'm good. Looks like a zombie anyway. Just for like the record, we aren't actually trying to catch every Pokemon. We just are trying to play through the game. Not necessarily get everything. So, yeah. Tree looks like it can be cut down. Would you like to cut it down? Sure. Homie uses cut again. JT gets lo lost in the forest. The water is dyed a deep blue. Would you like to use surf? Sure. We'll use surf. Go blue, go. I don't know what the, the animation is in the water, but it definitely ain't blue. Let's talk to the creepy little girl. Whimper sniff, oh please help. A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It keeps scaring. It needs Loretta scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Uh-oh, here it comes again. It's scary. I want my daddy. Ah. A scary, scary hypno comes and appears. Go on. Okay, let's use bite on it. We bite the hypno. It's super effective. Hypno flinches. We bite it again. Hypno dies. While Hypno faints, Blue gets experience. And the battle ends. Oh, that was so scary. Thank you. Rosetta came to pick some berries. You can have this. We get the berry. We put the berry in the berry pouch. What's your name? Rosetta is scared, so can I with you daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. And we teleport in. Okay, we rescued Rosetta. How can I say thank you? you? You can give me a lot of money. Darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were so scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got friends. And then they just stare. We just stare intently at each other for a very long time. But then JT gives up. And leaves. And then realizes he needs something from him. So, comes back. Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. JT handed a meteorite over to Lozette's father. I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. JT received a moonstone. Yay! JT put the moonstone in the item's pocket. JT then decided to go and find a boat and go home. But first, he decided to go to a Pokemon Center. Okay, and then we go. And we talk to this Captain Dude. Ahoy, where do you want me to sail? Go to one island. Alright, all aboard. High speed number two. And speed! Okay, and then we go back through the doorway, and we run all the way over to the Museum of Pokemon History, or whatever it's called. And then we talk, oh, hey, JT, what kept you so long? Been out having a good time. We got it done, the PCs are all up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing dude. No, 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 there was nothing left for me to do. I have to hand it to you, Celio. I learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> he has a crush on Bill. <clears throat> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. He 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 he. 
JT, I'm sorry that we sent you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. And we walk in a single file line. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My buddy seemed to enjoy your company, even though you were never here. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you ever were to visit him again. If you have a tripass, you can always take a ferry from there to from the Million Port. All right, thanks for your company. It's time to die. And he left, jumping into the river, and killed himself. Okay. Anyway, on that happy note, let's end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to catch the next episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Peace out.